What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Arasis from Garment Creations and on this channel you get tips and tricks to amplify your t-shirt business. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Today in this video, I'm going to be hanging out with my man Stan Banks. Chilling right here. See what's up to the people, Stan. What up, man? I'm Stan Banks from T-Shirt Side Hustle. If you don't know who I am, you can find me on Instagram and on YouTube. Here today, man, getting ready. You know, I sold a lot of all over shirts, but I never made one myself. So it's going to be interesting to get this design part rolling. All right. So, yeah. So we're gonna I'm going to walk Stan through Photoshop, how I come up with the concept of designs and... We're going to be going through from start to finish using one of my templates. And then the pressing part of this thing, Stan is going to do it on his channel. So to check out the video for the pressing all over shirts, go ahead and check out Stan's video. Links to that is down below. Cool. So again, like I said, today I'm in Photoshop. This is Photoshop 2020. This is Adobe Photoshop CC. Okay, so I'm in the most updated version. I always tell people if you want to work in Photoshop, if you're going to ask me a question, make sure you have the most updated version. You know you're paying for it anyways, don't be scared to update. Yeah. These templates that I built to to basically make my workflow easier, mm -hmm. and I have a size for every single shirt based on the Jersey 2020's cut. Gotcha. Okay, 100% gotcha. polyester. So this here is a size large. So basically, I'm we're gonna go through a few concepts here. And an all over shirt, ideally what an all over shirt is, is basically just a background, some foreground, and elements and then you can throw text in there so with those four factors is what we're going to be using and for our foreground today we'll be using your your logo yeah. which is the t-shirt side hustle and then from our background i usually use just like crimple paper like okay. i think that'll be pretty dope all right yeah we'll, we'll, we'll try the crimple paper idea out you know and see how it play and see what it looks like if it don't work then like i said we'll try other options here all right so basically i'm going to bring in that crumble paper in that you sent me I'm just gonna come in here to file, place, embed it. I'm gonna place that onto my computer here. Just look for the file, okay? So I dropped my crumble paper in, and luckily it's a good size. It comes in right at a full, like capacity, full screen. Full screen. The resolution is great on here. But what I wanna do, you can see my shirt is already there. I'm gonna turn this into a smart object, okay? so. Basically, what a smart object allows you to do when you go into expanding, you're not getting into distortion, you get the same value, the same resolution of the image. So to do that, I'm over here in my layers panel on the bottom right corner here, you can see layers. I'm gonna right click on the layer that says crumble paper. I'm gonna right click on it, I get this nice menu bar here. I'm just gonna come up to convert to smart object, okay? and. Right when I do that, Photoshop is going to take some time. I can tell it's a smart object because right at the yeah. bottom corner here, you can see this page looking set up. So that tells me that this thing is in a full smart object mode. Edit, free transform, but I always like to do shortcuts. It speeds up your workflow. So Control T would be it for me just to get my transform tools around here. And then what I like to do, I hover on top here. Go over to where the the W is, and I'm just gonna slide. And as I hover over, you'll see there's a double-sided arrows. It tells me that I can slide left or I can slide right. And as I'm doing it this way, it's proportionally expanded from the middle right. because I have this chain length over here. But if I didn't have this chain length, and if I try to do it, it's gonna it's gonna right. be distorted. Okay, so I'm just control Z that. That's basically stepping backwards. And I'm gonna bring this up a bit. I wanted to fill the page, but you can see right now I'm gonna hit my my gear chain down again, so that way it expands all over it. What I'm gonna do here right now, I'm gonna go into this here. I'm gonna create a clipping mask. And right when I do a clipping mask, what happened there? Whatever was on top of my shirt shape, crump it clips yep. into that form. Whatever that bottom is, it clips into it. So right now, this is what we'll get. If we were to print this right now, we'll have this paper here. But the fact that the over, all over print shirt is white, I don't want to put white on top of white because ink don't print white, yeah. feel me? So what we're going to do now, I can add some overlay here to try to change the color. So I'm going to right click and just come to my blending options. I'm doing everything on the layer that I want to affect. Right. So it's important if you're going to change a layer, make sure you're on that layer. I get questions most of the time. Hey, I'm doing it, but it's not working because you're not on that layer. So make sure you're on the layer that you want to affect. 
and then I'm going to come over here to color overlay okay so I'm going to click it and right when I check it and click on the word color overlay I get an extended menu here my layer styles so it allows me to change the color by just hitting in this color bar I can change this overlay color to anything I want no I like dark color Okay, so I know I need to go down here because Stan likes to load the dark tones. Okay, so I'm going to go down to my dark flats. And we'll see what that looks like. You can still see the effect of the paper in the back. You can still see the crumble. But it's a little it's a little plain and you can't really see it. So I'm going to try to do some other things with the blending options. So I can go, my right now my blending mode is on normal. But I can just like, I like to hover through them and see what I get. That would be on multiple. Most of the time, multiple would give you more. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it on multiple. You can see I landed on that because I already know like that would give you everything. You know, so it's that. What if we adjust the opacity? Let's see what we can definitely right now have it at 75. If I bring it down a bit on the opacity, I like it. Drop it okay, so it's 80, and now we're gonna go ahead and bring it. So we have, ultimately, what we just did, we have our our background is in now. Okay, so now we're gonna throw a foreground on there. I'm just gonna go to file again, and I'm gonna place embed it. And this time, I'm gonna throw in the T-shirt side hustle logo, logo, which is Stan's logo. Place it. Okay, so the logo comes in again and automatically one every time I bring in images in I always convert it to a smart object So I'm able to play with it more without losing anything. So I'm gonna right click again Create to a smart object All right, so now I'm gonna try to fit this in make it a little bigger a little higher because the way the shirt is shipped We already know we got to do our three to four fingers. So your collar is about here Okay, so I'm gonna make it a little bigger the same way we did before, just expanding a bit. We don't want it too big, because again, you know, it's stand less, he's a less is more type of guy. You feel yeah, me? No <laughs> so we're gonna just try to center it, and you can see as I move it, I'm getting that snap to guide in because I have that function turned on over here on my view menu, and my snap is snap to guide. So I got that here. So, how wide is that? So this logo, <laughs> we got you. let's go like right at 12 and a half. 12. I like, I usually do 11.5, but I take it, I know some of you will take it a little bit bigger today. Okay, we'll do 12. So the logo here is 12 by 6. Okay, so we'll put it right there. And now, we have our, full, our background, we have our foreground. We don't need no text because, I mean, the logo says it all, so there's no need for no text. But if we can throw in some elements here, that'd be cool. Yeah, it's, a, it's I mean? real plain right now with, it's, just, with just that. Yeah, it's it super plain, plain, right? So I can take it one more step and just add another background or some elements into how, that. How low did you say the collar is? So my collar is about here. Right. So I think, so I like to move mine up a little bit. So okay. I put the words at the four inch not you see how this kind of comes up right okay because the words if i if i put this down here the words start right now here right so i like to put the words so all right try to so figure where we slide this up a little bit okay and again the fact that it's all over yeah that means i'm gonna move it on the press as long mm -hmm. as we're not we don't have to the logo itself on the dollar right i mean so yeah. we have some wiggle room as long as we don't make it so big where it goes over but whatever they adjusted all that yeah so next, I'm bringing my next element. And see, right when I drop this here, it's on top of the logo. So what I have to do is I have to shovel, shuffle that layer over here on my layers panel. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm just gonna drop this underneath my logo. So my logo is now on top of it. And I'm gonna come back to it. It's already automatically a smart object. So now what I have to do is expand it again to where I want it to be, like get my placement right. right. So I'm gonna expand it to covers the shirt, okay? And this is not like, right now I can move this anywhere I want to get more of the bigger shapes at the bottom. I mean, it depends how my, my customer reacts to it, how Stan's reacting to it. So I'm just gonna agree to it right now, okay? And 
I'm gonna again clip this to the shirt, create a clipping mask. So right now this is what we got. We got like this grayish background and the black, the black foreground basically, and then we have our logo. So it's if we wanted to add some colors to this, we can go ahead and add an overlay to to the shapes that we just dropped in. We can add whatever. You can add a gradient overlay. You can add another overlay. Like that. Let's let's. I got an idea. Let's take. Uh, let's go back to the crumpled paper. Okay. F real quick. Turn off the. Uh, turn it off the color overlay real quick on the crumpled paper. Let's turn it off real quick. That ain't too bad. Yeah, that's busy. Bad. That's all right. But let's turn it back on real quick. And then let's play with the opacity now and see what it looks like. Okay, so opacity on the paper. In the, you gotta go into the layer, right? Color overlay. Yeah. Let's play with that. Okay, so let's bring this opacity down on the color overlay. We're at 80. Yeah, let's drop it back down, see what we get. So right now we're at 65, 68. Close to the white. I can't see where the logo is gonna fall, so I like it kind of like with the darkness right there. Like we're right. I like how that's dark, and I kind of want the logo under that. So well, let's drag it down a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, let's go. yeah I like that. I like that. All right. I mean, that's it. We didn't gotta do much else to this thing. Yeah. See that? that was easy. I like the way you got your template set up. It's similar to what I used to use when I used to make my kind of designs. Yeah. It makes it a lot easier, and people don't understand you got to make one for every size because exactly. it's going to fall differently on every size, too. Right. So. It's definitely going to, yes, this is it for large. This design won't work on the medium. Yeah. You know what I mean, because then I'll have to do some resizing. Okay, so yeah, so we got our design now saying I'm going to just save this. I can print right off of here. So I'm going to print this, and you're going to press it. Yeah, let's print it out, man. So if you guys want to see what comes next, man, my man E just killed this design. So if you want to see what's next, make sure you go down in the description uh, and go to my channel. We're going to have a YouTube link to the video where he prints it out, we press it up, and I throw it on, man. And hope you guys hope to see you guys on my channel. That's it. That's it.